welcome to Modal Waves version 6 beta 2. We are excited to launch our second beta of version 6. Here is a preview of some of the features we have added. Elliott Wave Custom Ratios Price and time ratios for Elliott Waves can now be customized. This includes formatting the ratios as well as adding, removing, and creating custom ratios. This can be found in the Configure Preferences dialog. DOM Enhancements Several new enhancements have been added to the depth of market panel. Please note that many of these features are currently exclusive to rhythmic connections due to the lack of support in other APIs. Market by order. Market by order displays individual order sizes in the bid and ask columns. Smaller order sizes are automatically hidden for simplicity. If you'd like to see more detail, just increase the width of the bid or ask columns. You're able to use the MBO filter option to show orders above certain threshold. In this example, I'm going to filter out any order that's under 50 contracts. More market depth levels. Motive Wave can now display more than 10 market depth levels. Currently, this is only supported by rhythmic connections. Positioning queue. For rhythmic connections, your actual positioning queue will now be displayed with text and a marker. All other connections will use an estimated positioning queue. Rhythmic enhancements. We have updated to the latest rhythmic API, which allows the MBO features just discussed. Along with these enhancements, we have added native orders for OCO, one cancels other, bracket attached orders, trailing stops, limit and market if touched, and iceberg orders, which can hide your true limit order size. TPO study. TPO profiles can now be split or merged from the context menu. The profile will be split at the cell where the context menu was opened. We can also separate regular and extended sessions. TPO now supports historical bars, which will speed up the loading time and allow you to display profiles without tick data. Volume Imprint Study. The Volume Imprint Study has also been enhanced. There is now the option to display a second column right beside the first column. In this example, we have a Delta Profile and a bid -ask Profile. Settings for each profile type now have their own tabs. There is now more control over color and shading options, and the profile can display the regular and extended sessions separately. In the Totals tab, we have added Cumulative Delta and more control over colors and shading. Depth of Market History Study The DOM history has also been given an update. You can now limit the maximum depth levels to increase workspace performance. The ability to filter out depth levels that don't meet minimum requirements, and you're also able to set colors based on up to five different depth levels. Big Trade Study Big Trades is a new study that displays historical trades on the chart. Aggregate period will combine trades that happen within that specified period in milliseconds. This study can be used to see where large traders are positioned. Open high low close study. OHLC study is also new and displays levels that most traders like to be aware of, like the open, the high, the low, previous close, midpoint, previous high and low, and a customizable range that starts at regular trading hours. You could use this to plot the high and low of this 60 minute opening range. Volume Profile Study The existing Volume Profile Study has now been rewritten to support tick data and you're now able to define a time range. In this example, we have a 500 day volume profile on the E-mini S&P 500. Time and Sales Panel the time and sales panel has also been updated. You're now able to highlight large trades with your own background color and select an aggregate period. Even more features are included in this beta release.
To see the full details of all the features that have been added, go to our download page where you'll find the What's New with Version 6 Beta 2 guide.